If you haven't been leaning into AI, listen, I got a great conversation for you, but you're going to be a little bit mad at yourself because you missed our AI Everyday Summit that we held yesterday. It was absolutely fantastic. Listen, I got some breakdown from it. I got some conversation to have. Uh, check in below. Let me know if you caught the summit or not. Give me a one in the comments if you caught the summit. Give me a zero in the comments if you happen. If you haven't, hey, and let me know what do you think about my new border here, right? So I'm messing around with some ideas. Listen, I'm off in a moment to head to WBON Chicago. I got a conversation for our community centered around black history and culture and coming up and all of that great stuff. Who is this guy? Hey, my name is Freddie Taylor. I'm the CEO and founder of Urban Intellectuals. Uh, black history made easy is not only our mantra, but it is our promise. But really at our core, we are an empowerment company. We want to empower the black community to, to do better, to grow, to learn, to expand, to not only just learn their history and their culture, to implement it in their lives, to understand it and work to make their ancestors proud, but also that they can win in their financial life, their professional life, in their, fa in their family life, in their economic future. So I want to get back to what we used to do, which is engage educate and empower right so we're engaging with our conversations around in the community we educate on a lot of different things and we really want to empower the community but we start with black history that's what we do as an organization around here at urban intellectuals black history is the foundation of what we do why because we believe that black history has the power to change the world we believe that black history has the power to inspire the community we believe that people who lean into their history and their culture are better parents are better community members, are better family members, are better uh, better at engaging one another and befriending the world around them. They work, they have better careers, they have stronger careers, they have longer careers, they avoid the school to prison pipeline. They are about change and impacting the community. There is a lot of synergy between people who focus on their history and their culture and other wonderful individuals out there. I think it's a point that we can bring one another together. And then while we're together, we can start to have conversations around empowerment, things that we need to do uh, politically, economically, uh, culturally inside of our communities in order to have better families, better communities and better uh, diaspora experiences. And one of our conversations yesterday was the AI conversation, artificial intelligence. You may, you may seem a bit wonky on how it goes together, but again, just know we have a large community of black and African people in the diaspora and people who understand and sympathize with, with, these, with this segment of the population. And then all of these people have specific needs. Uh, and want, we, have, we hold a lot of conversations with our community. So at our Sunday dinner, you're going to have to research Sunday dinner and make sure that you get to grandma's house uh, and have these discussions with us, right? But at Sunday dinner, uh, having a conversation with our community, it came out that our community is deathly afraid of AI. Uh, we're concerned, we have fears about it, we have concerns about it. Uh, we're wondering, is it gonna take our jobs? Is it gonna make our children uh, lack critical thinking skills? Is it going to you know, manifest into its own consciousness and take over the world like we've seen in so many movies? There's a lot of angst around this when it comes to the black community. So instead of just talking about it and sitting around and wondering and trying to talk you out of this psychosis, I decided to partner up with an expert that I, I know in the community and bring them out and start having these AI conversations directly. Because look, whether you engage it or not, it's not going away. Whether you implement it in your personal life or not, it's not going away. Whether you implement it in your professional life, it's not going away. Whether you introduce it in your entrepreneurial life, it's not going away. Is your job going to go away as a result of AI? Probably not. But somebody using AI is probably going to get your job. And this is the conversation that we had with Alicia Little, uh, the queen of AI that we brought out uh, to have this conversation. She is from Jamaica and has a love for the community and the people uh, and particularly the black community and making sure that we're not left behind again. Right. I made mention during this conversation that. 2000, uh, 2025 reminds me of 30 years ago, 1995, when the internet broke. Like this is the type of level of sea change in the world that is happening and transpiring, right? And I remember being in college 30 years ago and ignoring the internet. I didn't really get down and get involved in 20, 2004, 2005. 2004 is the first time I built a website for my company. I used to own a real estate appraisal company then. 
But I really missed the wave. I didn't dig in. I was there before Jeff Bezos was in his garage talking about shipping books to people. I was there before Google uh, decided to build out their platform when they formed in 1998. I was there with Ash Jeeves and Metacrawler and all of these things, but I wasn't locked into the internet. And 2025 is coming and AI is here full speed. And I don't want to get left behind again. So a couple of years ago, I started diving into this thing. And many of us in the community was wor worried and concerned and scared about uh, this AI conversation. So instead of just talking, instead of just saying, hey, y'all got to check this out, I wanted to bring an expert, and an expert is what I did. Uh, this is the Alicia Little led our AI, uh, everyday AI, transforming your life, career, uh, life, career, and community, right? A virtual summit covering the practical power of AI. This was a beautiful discussion we had yesterday, just January the 15th, 2025, from 7 to 9 p.m. Everything was free. All you had to do was sign up. But I want you to go ahead and click the link because you can click the link and you can still grab a VIP ticket. The VIP ticket will give you the whole two-hour presentation that she broke down for us yesterday on all of these wonderful things. This is all about Alicia. She is phenomenal. Again, she's the queen of AI. She's trained at some of the largest organizations in the world around AI. She's trained uh, at... Clark Atlanta University around AI, many of the other uh, black, uh, historically black colleges and universities. But it's about the innovation. It's about the opportunity. Listen, this thing isn't going anywhere. This is going to impact all of us um, for a long, long time. And it's just a, a great opportunity for us to get involved now. So I want to encourage you to click the link. I should drop the link below down in the comments. Sorry, it's going to be somewhere where you can click the link and grab the everydayai.com and check it out and make sure that you sign up for this and grab this replay. It's the only way to get this information. Uh, it is absolutely stunning. But if you missed it, I feel bad for you, right? I really, really do. Um, so here's some of the words that some of the people who were involved had to say about this. Uh, Tia talks about, good afternoon, Freddie. Uh, not only did I miss the AI summit, but I, I not only did I not miss the AI summit, but I just enrolled today laughing at myself for all of the screenshots I took during the AI summit. The AI summit was amazing, refreshing, eye opening and fun. I am so glad that I attended. And this has been the sentiment of all of the people that have attended. We had 170 people on our Zoom call last night learning about AI and how they can use it in their in personal lives, how they can use it in their businesses, how they can use it in their professional careers, because the change is here. It is happening. Listen, Sister Alicia told a story about Intuit and a couple of other organizations laying off 1,800 people last year. 1,800 jobs are gone, not because of AI, but because the employees were not AI competent. So she says, listen, even if you, you are afraid of AI, you need to learn how to use this because those 1,800 jobs didn't disappear. They hired 1,800 new people, but guess what? Those were 1,800 people that were AI competent. This change is here. You cannot bury your head in the sand and think that you're going to continue to advance, whether that's in your personal life, your professional life, or your entrepreneurial life, or even in your retirement life. There's so much opportunity out here. I love our seniors. They were there uh, last night in, in the mix and signing up and joining the program to expand their understanding and usage of AI so that they can engage their children and their grandchildren around it. And some of them have hobbies that they're going to use AI to expand um, their hobbies with as well. But that's not it. Because brother, I wanted to bring this one up specifically because brother Arthur had something special to say. And uh, you can see it here. And let me come down a little bit, make sure I got his name. Let me grab my glasses because your boy can't see. Uh, but AI Summit, right? So Arthur Fields writes, on our UI universe, by the way, we have our very own social network that we've been easing out into the world. Uh, did you attend the AI Summit? I did and found the event very for informative. I will be using AI for business and personal purposes. First, I was skeptical about AI, and I'm glad Freddie was adamant about saying this is the wave of the future, and I agree with him. 
as I looked at the presentation, I felt like John Henry, the, the steel driving man, becoming obsolete. Decades of training, practice, and implementation for our liberation wasted. Then I realized as I watched the presentation that, a that AI is only as good as the person inputting the information into the matrix for the AI to perform a task. I can put me into AI and it will create some awesome information for use by our community and others. I would like to thank Urban Intellectuals for putting me on AI in an awesome environment with other black and African intellectuals. That's what I'm talking about, bringing the community together, expanding the conversation, putting practical and useful things at our fingertips, along with the experts to teach us and how to grow. Listen, urban intellectuals is a movement. This isn't just about black history because we are living the principle of Sankofa. Sankofa is a tree word uh, out of the Ghana region from the Akan people that means to go back and get it. So go back and get your history, go back and get your culture, go back and get your language, go back and get your, your uh, intellectualism, go back and get your ingenuity, go back and get your engineering and bring those lessons forward with you in the future. This is about bringing the past, the present, and the future together in a mindset known as Sankofa. And that's what we are about here at Urban Intellectuals. Again, we start with the history and the culture because we want to bring that forward. But as we start to learn our history and our culture, we start to empower ourselves because we're learning the lessons of the kings and queens. We learn the lessons of the great empires. We learn the lessons of the scientists. We learn the lessons of the te technological era. We learn the lessons of the mathematicians. We learn the lessons of the engineers that come out of African minds. And we want to bring that forward. AI is no different. This is just another opportunity for um Black intellectualism to enter into this field or use this tool. This is nothing more than a tool that we can use it for our advantage moving forward. A lot of our community are worried about the nefarious activities that do happen, uh, that could happen on AI, right? We're dreaming about things that could happen. But here's the thing. Here's the, here's the rub against that. I'm not saying that AI won't be used for nefarious reasons. I'm not saying there won't be something terrible uh, that comes out of this. There has already been some terrible tragedies that have come from the usage of AI uh, with different places. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not trying to cast uh, any any um, rosy picture of what AI is, but I'll talk to you in this terms. When the automobile was introduced, people didn't want it. People thought it was dangerous. People thought it could lead to trouble. It came anyway. It revolutionized the way we move around. When the cell phone came, people didn't want it. They thought it was going to cause you cancer. Maybe it is. People thought that there could be scams, and there are. It didn't stop the cell phone from coming. This technology is here. Same with the internet. Nefarious things are happening on the internet. This is true. It is happening. Does that mean we're going to throw away the internet? Think about all the wonderful things that the internet has happened. All of our fears didn't stop it. It is here. This is the same for AI. AI is here. AI is not going anywhere. Sure, there could be some nefarious things that could be done, but it ain't going nowhere. I suggest you lean into it. Look, click the link. Uh, and check out our Everyday AI Summit. You're not going to be disappointed. Alicia Little tears the house down. I'm there. We got a little panel discussion as well. $47. You can grab the replay of this. You're not going to be disappointed. Check it out. Let me know what you think when you got when you get it. Hey, and thank Urban Intellectuals for bringing this together. But woo, wait, we got a lot more coming. I promise you that much indeed. Well, until next time, good people, I got to get out of here. I got an interview. I got to go run to. I appreciate y'all spending some time with me. Love, peace, and power to the people.